Hi there, my name's James, and if you got the time, I got the games. I want to do another one beer video right now. This Royal Rumble game that came out in 1993, at the time that this came out, I thought that this was the best wrestling game that had ever been released, and what made it so unique was the Royal Rumble match itself was brand new. Now this game has 12 characters, and some of them are actually still alive. But I'm going to run through every single mode, and hopefully I'll get them all done by the time this beer is finished. So we will do one fall, and you can see one fall, you have a choice between uh, Brawl and Tournament. I will do it on uh, medium difficulty. And hmm. Let's see. Yeah, Razor Ramon, there we go, yeah. I was always a big Scott Hall fan, so. And of course, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels didn't even have Sweet Chin Music as his finisher when this game came out. He's got some kind of weird back suplex that he does. All right, putting him down. Now there was a wrestling game, and I believe it was just called WrestleMania, that kind of used uh, these same mechanics. It looked really similar to this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was uh, way too far away. My bad. It used these same mechanics, but you couldn't use... All of the wrestlers didn't have finishing moves. They all had exactly the same moves. And other than your finishers, they all still do in this game. Oh, not that time. You know what? I don't think so. We're going to get him with this chair. But you do have uh, punches and kicks, and when you grapple, then it's just button mashing. And every button does a different attack. Okay, let's try this again. Now, by today's standards, I mean, this is really primitive. But we lose the referee, and now we can cheat. But like I said, in 1993, uh, this was great. I played this game to death. And I think Sean is ready for a razor's edge. Very cool. Okay, so, you know, that's pretty much uh, the mechanics of the game. That's how it goes. And here comes Howard Finkel. Very cool. Now the intro music in the beginning, that's original music for the game, but each of the wrestlers' theme songs are all included in the game, but in like a in a digital video game form. It's not the actual song. Okay, Ric Flair, yeah, why not? And Crush. For tag team. Yeah, okay, why not? We'll do Tatanka. Now we'll save Bret Hart, The Undertaker, yeah. Uh, Crush is another guy who's no longer with us. But I liked him a lot when he went to WCW later. He was in a tag team called Chronic. And his tag team partner was actually another guy who came from the WWF at the time. His name was Brian Clark, and in WWE his name was uh, Adam Baum. And both of those guys, they were kind of like the Acolytes used to be, Farouk and Bradshaw. They never really held the tag titles, but they were kind of for hire. Anytime a wrestler had a feud with somebody else, they could pay Chronic to go beat the crap out of the guy. Yeah, come on. Yeah, button mashing. Lots of button mashing. And the Super Nintendo controller does have like a left and right bumper, and each one of those is a different is a different attack. All right, set him up. Yeah, crush his move. Yeah, this pineapple crunch. They kind of uh, when he was crush in the WWE, they kind of promoted him as being from Hawaii. And figure four leg lock, very nice. Yeah, lose the referee, get the Undertaker in here, he's still got full health.
Oh man, I was way off on that. Yep, don't think so. Oh, we'll get him this time. Yeah, nice. Yeah, get out of here. Now, in my opinion, I don't know if you've ever played SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. In my opinion, that is the greatest wrestling game that ever came out, not only for the time that it came out, which was about a decade ago, more than ten years ago. It was the one that had, uh, it had lots of different backstage areas with uh, interactable things that you could, uh, you know, run people into. Even a part where you could go outside of the arena and fight in the street. And not only that, but there were so many different moves. ECW was just starting to make waves and they were incorporating lots of moves that, yeah, get him, that uh, hadn't been seen in North America a lot. And they were all in that game. That's probably my favorite wrestling game ever. Man, very cool. There was a sequel to this game, and it's actually superior to this one. And it was called WWE, or excuse me, WWF Raw. Because the show was still brand new, and it uses the same mechanics that this game does, it's just way more improved. Alright, Tataka and Bret Hart. And I love the triple. The triple tag team matches, those are great too. The game that came out after this had a Survivor Series mode, and that was a big deal for me because I love Survivor, I love elimination matches, period. Let's see, hmm. Yeah, Mr. Perfect, there we go. And I love how on old Super Nint the old Super Nintendo consoles, there's no loading screens. And you can tell this was a long time ago. This is when Lex Luger first came to work for the WWF and he was calling himself the narcissist. He wasn't even that the great American they were promoting later. They wanted him to kind of take the place of Hulk Hogan and that kind of didn't work out at all. Well then, yeah, he's hurt enough. We can get that. And the sharpshooter. Uh, truth be known, I don't really remember. When this game first came out, I don't even remember if Bret Hart had won his first world title yet. I know it was the same year. And Bret Hart took his first world title from Ric Flair. I don't know if... I think that was after this game was released. Yeah, we're not going to get it. That was bad timing. Yeah, I wasn't sure we were going to get that one. But in this same year, in 1993, Yokozuna was the world champion for a lot of 93. I was always a really big fan of Mr. Perfect and the Million Dollar Man. I really liked Ted DiBiase. He was one of the best cheaters I've ever seen. He used to do things like he would bring a little kid up on this little platform stage he was standing on and tell him he would give the kid $500 if he would if he could dribble this basketball 10 times the kid would get to nine and he would kick the ball out of the way <laughs> And say oh well, I guess you lost He was just sinister I loved that guy And Tatanka was a guy that they didn't really uh, push too much hold on we got him set up there it is million dollar dream 
Or the Cobra Clutch. Sergeant Slaughter used to do that same move too. Set him up, sharpshooter. And now, yeah, we don't want to whip him this way. I'm going to whip him in the other direction. Tatanka's move was that was a Samoan drop. But we don't want to do that next to his own guy. we got to get him in our corner. And all good. Very nice. And I believe we've seen everybody in the game so far. There's only 12 guys. We've seen everybody in the ring except for one, and he's going to be the guy we use for this game's main feature, the Royal Rumble match. Which direction is he? To the left. There he is. The Macho Man. This was my guy. Macho Man. And yeah, if you time it just right, it's really not that hard to uh, uh, throw people out. But doing it that way, that's kind of boring. So we're going to go in here and fight everybody. And another interesting thing, the actual 1993 Royal Rumble. I don't know if anybody's ever seen that pay-per-view, but the last two guys in the ring were Yokozuna and Randy Savage. Macho Man actually dropped his flying elbow on Yoko, but then he couldn't pick him up and throw him over the top rope. Oh! Oh, very nice. Go get it, Ted. Now, the strategy I liked always like to employ was to try to get one guy and separate him but it's not easy you've got guys all over the place and just drain his health drain his health get a guy like way up in the corner yep, see you Rick and Randy Savage is a guy you want to be kind of up towards the top of the ring anyway or you can't do his finisher You can't climb the two turnbuckles that are on the bottom, which in this game's sequel, WWF Raw, you could do that. Oh, no good. Damn, the atomic drop. I used to, <laughs> I used to do a lot of atomic drops because it uh, does a lot of damage. Whoa, another razor's edge. It does a lot of damage. You do that like, you know, four, five, six times to somebody and they're ready for a finisher or to be thrown out. Has he hurt enough? Yeah, there it is. Gotcha. All right, see you, brother. Looks like Ted's ready to go out, too. Oh, Razor's on fire. And Razor is just punishing everybody. I really liked Scott Hall when he was Razor Ramon, but uh, in 96 when he went to WCW and was one of the, the first guys to start the New World Order, man. I mean, what can you say about that? That, that was just revolutionary. Yeah, we've really got to start draining his health. He's probably the strongest guy in here. Well, not anymore. It's probably Lex Luger now. Alright, is he ready? Nope, not yet. Yeah, now he is. Nope, no good. Bad timing. <clears throat> The WWE Raw game that came out after this one, that one has Diesel in it. This is before Diesel even came in. 
That's how long ago this was. And that game had a lot of characters that are not in this game. But again, Shawn Michaels still wasn't using Sweet Chin Music yet. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, and Lex is nowhere near hurt enough. We gotta get rid of Sean, though. Okay, very nice. Nope, not gonna happen. Yep, take his health, set him up for an elbow, and toss him out. And that's pretty much this game in a nutshell. That's all of its modes and just about everything you can do other than tournament mode. And tournament mode is fun. It's also really lengthy. Oh, here it is. Yeah, he was too far away on the other side. Alright. Oh, good. I really missed this game. And I just saw it sitting on the shelf. I hadn't played it in pff, at least 15 years. Oh, another cool thing. Right towards the end is you can scroll to the left and the right and it will tell you who eliminated everyone and who they were eliminated by. Which is pretty cool. Razor got rid of Crush, I remember that. Yeah, man. Ted was on fire too. Yeah, very nice. I would like to do another one beer video. I was pounding this beer and it actually, it's pretty much gone now. So that's the end of this. I am going to go ahead and end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is James and if you got the time, I got the games.